I saw this, I just thought of lasagna. Just lasagna, that's all I have to say is lasagna. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Dion, welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay, I am back with another video. Yes, and as you guys can see by this title, this is going to be a best or worst dress Oscars 2020. Yes, this is the first Oscars in the 20s. You know what I mean? Now y'all know I live for the Oscars. That side of the industry, I just really do. I, I just love to see actors and actresses just win awards and stuff and just, you know, it's not just the actors and actresses, it's the costume designers. Everybody is getting an award. Now y'all know when it comes to the Oscars, actors really don't do wrong on the carpet. Um, I'm gonna say they don't really go crazy and go all out like the Grammys or the VMAs, you know what I mean? They're very pretty much contained, but you know, some people just get a little crazy, they look, you know, they go a little, mm hmm And I'm here for it sometimes, I'm here for the risk taking. If it's worth taking the risk, like was the risk really worth it? Hey Gong, if this is your first time seeing my face and all my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 it helps me a lot. If you, yes you, if you are watching this video right now, drop this video and give it a big fat thick thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Shall we, darling? So, a lot of people are like, oh god, Denzel, I thought you said you were going to stop best or worst dress. I never said I was going to stop completely. I just said, bitch, I'm not going to do every award. I'm just not going to do every award. I'm going to do the awards that I care about, that I just care for, or I care to review. Now, the Oscars, when I review the Oscars, it's like, damn, everybody is like best dressed. You know what I mean? Everyone is pretty dressed well. In my eyes, in my opinion, like I said, in my opinion, I said what I said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, and that's on what period. However, you don't have to like what I say, you don't have to like my opinion, however, you will respect my opinion. Okay, and the same goes for you too. If you think I was, if you that I was ugly, I know you said it's nice, it's perfectly fine. I hear you. Do I care? No, I don't. Um, yeah, I just said I'm not gonna do every award. I'm not gonna sit here, because awards happen every week. I'm not gonna sit here, do these awards, do these. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do the ones that I wanna do. And the Oscars is something I truly love. I will say, a lot of people really looked beautiful and elegant, as the Oscars is always. I didn't really see anything bad dressed. It's just something that was just like, Okay. Now we have Miss Florence P. Miss Florence, I don't, it's her last name. Pug Pew. Miss Florence P. We're gonna keep it Florence P. This is just beautiful. This is cute. You guys know I don't really like stuff like this really. Like I'm not too fond of it. But it's nice. I like the whole color combination. I love the face. The face is beat. I love the neck. The belt is cute. I really don't like a high low. It's not that high. You know what I mean? But high lows for me is a no-no. But this looks nice. It looks beautiful. She looks stunning. I live for this. Come on, Florence! She did what needed to be done. She really did. This is everything. All right, and now we have Miss Janelle Monet, And she is looking like a million bucks. I'm living for the glitter. I'm living for the crystal. Wow. Her face is beautiful. She's amazing. Oh, my God. Like, she's aging backwards. She looks like a beautiful, rich fairy godmother like this is giving me fairy godmother-esque and i am here for it this is stunning yes janelle yes janelle yes miss monet Woof. get into this red lip though get into this red lip get into the crystals get into the crystals is she so basky now we have miss natalie portman and oh this cape this cape this cape and i love you know the story of the names all the female directors that weren't you know recognized for the work this is just so simple this uh, come on cape come on she's giving me every part of realness natalie will always be that girl for me she she is that girl i mean come on look at her aging wear looks so beautiful i'm here for the black and gold moment i love the cape it's just so extra it's just like you know what i mean yes yes come on give me hogwarts i'm here for it in the best way I love this. It's beautiful. Okay, and now we have Black China. Now, y'all asking what she's doing. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know what she's doing at the Grammys. Oh, I don't know what she's doing at the Oscars. Sorry. I just can't. Black China and Oscars in the same sentence it just it sounds very weird to me. I would have liked this without the pom poms on the shoulders and the cufflings, you know what I mean? Like on the wrist. And it's giving me very pom pom. It's giving me very chilly to ask. Let's go! I mean, it's, 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 it's whatever, it's cute. She doesn't look ugly at all. The face is <clears throat> bitch. She's like <clears throat> I love the shoulder pads. Like, I love like the shape of everything of this, the black velvet, yes. However, um, it's not ugly. I just don't live for the pom-poms on the shoulders and the rest. That's it. It just doesn't do anything for me. You know what I mean? Like, does it do something for you? Let me know, because it doesn't do anything for me. Now we have Scarlett Johansson and oh my god, bitch. She looks Stunning. She looks amazing. Oh my god, this dress is just beautiful. 
it's beautiful. Like, uh, it's giving you two types of moods, and I'm here for it. I really am. Look at the top. Oh my god, this is just. The makeup is just so effortlessly done. The hair back, the earrings, the jewelry is it. What I like some of her neck, you know I just always like accessories. I'm an accessory type of person. But I feel like the top is doing so much that she doesn't really need anything on her neck. You know what I mean? It's not a train, but it's a train. You know what I mean? Like she has one stop. She's she's cute. She's sitting on the floor. Okay, now we have Brie Larson and this is beautiful. We have another cape and this is just effortlessly done. I love this dress. It's so simple and whimsical and it's just very elegante. It's very cute. Her makeup is very cute, very natural. Her hair is slicked back. I'm here for this too. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, actors just really just be getting it. You know what I mean? They just really don't do too much. There's nothing wrong with doing too much, but if you do too much in the right way. Come on, little cleave, you know, little... And now we have my queen, Laura Dern. Laura Dern just does no wrong. She just does no wrong for me. Like, I've been rooting for her. What I really rooted for Miss Laura is in is Big Little Eyes. Like, that's where... Woof. This is simple. The top is cute. The top is whatever. She can do whatever she wants to do. It's Laura fucking Dern. This is, the bottom is very simple. I'm very happy to the black with something because it just would have looked like a sheet. You know what I mean? It just looked very better. But the top really did save this. And she looks stunning. She looks amazing. Ah, uh, come on, Laura Dern. Okay, now we have Miss Billie Eilish. Um, why did I say her name like that? I love this. I say this looks better than her granny look. Like her, like her granny look was very night and this is very day. I love this with the Chanel brooches, the nails, the gloves. It's like her granny look was cute, but it was very like dark and this is like bright. You know what I mean? It's like angel. I love this. Just looks so comfy to be in. But yeah, I, I love this. Yeah, no, I just, I just really do love her style. The day she changes, I'm like, girl. But you know, if she changes. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something like higher. You know? Yeah, I like this. Her hair is so nice. I love the color. It just makes every outfit pop. You know what I mean? I feel like she would have like her silver hair, whatever. But I'm like, okay, cool. But the green hair is just boom. It's like, bitch, look at me. And I like when she wears a brand. She wears the brand, bitch. You see Burberry, everything's Burberry, sweetie. You see Versace, everything's Versace. The girl is dripped down to her socks, point blank, period. Now we have Billy Porter. Now Billy. Billy? Billy! I just love for my guests is Billy Porter. I really do, because Billy Porter just really be breaking around just, and just really be doing the damn thing. But sometimes I just don't get, I just don't see the vision. You know what I mean? Because someone's, Show me the way because with this I don't see the way from the bird feather top to the snake Parachute pants Skirt ass thing with these shoes the shoes are cute though I just not seeing it the top is giving me very Katy Perry at the Met Gala don't know what year But she knew when she decided to spread her wings and fly that's the top is giving me and then the bottom is giving me snakes and cobras and I just don't understand the vision. All I need is just help. Can someone help me? I live for Billy. I really, really do. When I saw this, I, I was very excited for Billy. I was just like, what am I? I, I don't see it. Am I not supposed to understand it? I'm not a part of the club? I don't know, but I just don't see it. So y'all just let me know what y'all see because I just don't. This is just not going to cut it for me personally. Okay, now we have my goddess Cynthia. This is beautiful. Versace really knew what they were doing with this dress. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. She looks beautiful. I told her, oof. The slit, the structure, the jewelry, the nails. Cynthia. I'm speechless, because this look is just gorgeous. Like she, like, it's like, it's like an angel. Like when you go to heaven, this is what you see. Okay, now we have Amelia Clark and this is cute. I'm here for this. This is very simple, sparkly, and fun. That's all I can say. Like, it's gorgeous. I love it. I've seen dresses like this done many times, but um, I just like how this is just sparkly, just gives us something. It's just not plain old, you know, fabric. You know what I mean? It's like sparkly. It's giving you something. She's Sparkly. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, and now we have uh, Timothy Chamelet, and you know, Timothy just gives me what I need. I'm here for this Prada moment. Thank you, Prada. Thank you. This is beautiful. It didn't go with the regular black and white suit. Totally get it because it's boring sometimes. You know what I mean? To just wear black tux. A lot of guys did that. That's what they're not in this video. It's just the same black suit. Even though oh, you can never go wrong with a black suit or a black tux, you can never go wrong. You, they're gonna look fine and everything, but it's just like it's the same black and white, which is, it's, it's fine. It's like a uniform at this point. But Timothy, yes. Oh, uh, now we have Regina King. Oh, Regina. Uh, I just love our people. Look how beautiful. 
How stunning. Aging wear, age wear. She looks, age, she's 18. No, she's 21. Look at the skin, look at the glow. Regina, you are so beautiful. Oh my God, wow. The dress, the hair, the makeup, the jewelry. This is just stunning. This is beautiful. I love how the dress can just, it can stand on itself. You know, she has the wings on the outside. Not wings, but you know what I mean? She's coming out. Like the dress just simple by itself. Like, come on, she, if she really wanted to, she could just snip it off. And that's the after party look, baby. You know what I mean? It could be two in one. Don't know if it's like that, but that's what I kind of see. I don't know, but this is just nice. This is just beautiful. She looks like her skin and like everything is just, yes. Okay, and now we have Kristen Wiig, and I love Kristen Wiig. Kristen, you know when I say I love somebody, it's because I got something to say. But you know what? I really do love these people. Like, Kristen Wiig. Wig! I saw this. I just thought of lasagna. That's it. I just thought of lasagna. I just, I just, I just thought of lasagna. See, I love lasagna. I'm just not a fan of ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese is just not cute to me. I don't like the way it feels in my mouth. Just lasagna. That's all I have to say is lasagna. Now we have, oof, Charlie Theron. And let me say something. Yes. This is me arriving to a funeral. You know what I mean? This is beautiful, a beautiful black dress. I love how it's so structured at the top, and I love how, wow, the one arm just falls down like that. This is so beautiful. This is a revenge dress. This dress is very revenge. Yes, I am here for it. Okay, now we have my girl, Saoirse. I mean, if I would've saw this on somebody else, I would've been like, not my fave, but since it's on Saoirse, I kinda like it, you know? I don't know why. It's Saoirse, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I stand. I just watch interviews of her all the time. Like, I'm, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with everything, the accent. I'm just obsessed with her being, her presence. Okay, and now we have Aurora. I said, girl, she said Oscars this time. Karate later. Karate, Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, that's what this outfit is giving me. It's giving me very martial artist. Who are you trying to fight? Are you auditioning for the next Karate Kid movie? Don't know. Looks like a very sweet girl, but I'm not here for Jiu Jitsu for the Karate Kid. Yeah, this is giving me very Karate Kid. I'm not here for a Karate Kid and then she has a crown on. It's not ugly. It would be cute if you were going to a match. It would be cute if you're going to a battle or a duel. What do they call it, match? Yeah, it would be very cute. But for the Oscars, I don't know. I don't know. I love the color, by the way. I, lo I love that. It's like a mint. All right, and now we have Margot Robbie. Oh, I love her so much. Margot Robbie is just a queen. You know what I mean? I just really do love her. But number one, number one, number one, please watch Birds of Prey because that movie is everything. Go watch. Don't let it flop. I don't, like, people are not trying to watch Birds of Prey. Watch it. It's a great movie. And number two, go watch Birds of Prey. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm not sponsored at all. Go watch it. I like this. This is whatever. It's simple. I will say this is not the best. She's one I've seen her in better. But it's not the worst either. It's not bad or anything. It's just very simple. It's not giving me a lot of... You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we've seen her in better, but... Well, I've seen her in better. But it's a simple, cute dress with this red lip, with this beat. It's very whatever. It's a whatever type of thing. It's not, woo, but it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's just, that's all I have with the Oscars 2020. If you're fake that I'm making the video, I'm terribly sorry. Um, so sorry. Like 95 of these people really did what they had to do. The Oscars really never, the carpet is never really bad at all. I feel like last year there was more bad, right? I don't know, but the Oscars is the place to be when it comes to like, like it's just, it's just a place of class. All right, so the best dress at the Oscars 2020 is... Cynthia girl, just greatness. Do you see this? This is an icon. This, this is woof. Cynthia really knew what she was doing. Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. This is the best dress the Oscars 2020, hands down. Like this dress is breathtaking. Like when you see this, it's it, it just it, it snatches your breath away. You can't breathe, bitch. Period. Okay. And now for the worst dress of the Oscars 2020. It to Aurora, just because it's, it, I've seen worse dress. It's just that, at least people were trying to dress up for the occasion. She missed the mark. She was trying to go to the dojo. So yeah, she gets it. All love though, all love. Well yeah, that was it for this video guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later my darlings. Bye. Toodaloo.